Good morning everyone! We are on the 6th of December and uh, um, I'm Fanny, one of the owners of Meet and Croquet, Bit and Meet and. and uh, I'm gonna open up some advents uh, this morning. I'm gonna start with the Meet and Croquet, number 6. Sorry for the noise. So it is lemon pie. So it's as if you have the, the meringue, the meringue, I don't know what is the name in English, and you go to the lemon curd. So I really love this one too. So this is lemon pie. And like I told you last time, it's not me that normally twists the yarn. It's Miriam, so that's why I'm not that good doing it, putting it in bed. So, lemon pie. Mm, after that, I'm gonna go with the blueberry advent. Yeah. Oh, it's a tiny thing. I have the full sheets of those, so I might be giving those to someone. Excuse the, excuse Kak Mitan doing her, her stuff. Mitan? Why? Which is by? Every morning she does that. While I record the, the podcast, the vlogmas. So, number six from a simple sortie is Lagoon. Oh yeah, she, that's exactly the color I was seeing in my head for Lagoon. I don't know if it's a dust spot, yeah. There's really, yeah. It's more beautiful in, in person because you see the deepness and you see it more. But it's so pretty. And last but not the less, the one that my friend Pixie and one of the owner of Meet and Kaki did. She made those uh, all the way through the year. So I have one and both her kids have one. So I'm gonna open it. Oh my god, that's a tiny yarn basket with tiny needles. Oh, that's so cute! Oh, it's gonna go underneath my new Christmas tree I have in my room. It's so pretty. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. So, that's it for the uh, opening of the advents. I'm gonna go and pick up my tarot card of the morning. So yesterday I cleaned up some stuff and I put up uh, some decoration. I'm gonna try to uh, show you that today, the decoration, because I have the talking uh, to, sorry, wow, speaking both in English and in French this morning. So I have the stocking too to show you. Uh, I put some stuff there. So I got shown along from today and that card wanted to go out. So it is the Ace of Swords reversed but reverses like that oh where did i put the book so the book as always Ace of Sword. And my figures.
Thank you. So when it's reversed, it can indicate that a new idea of breakthrough is emerging from within me, but I'm not willing yet to share it with others. Uh, I may be exploring what this idea means for me and how to best express and manifest it. So I might be seeking greater clarity about whether this is an idea I wish to pursue or if it will be bring the result I truly desire. It's important that I give myself time and space to meditate and clear my mind so I can birth this idea in the most effective way. I may be pursuing to an idea that is no longer that has no longer meaning for me. So I have to, to rethink and go to the drawing board back. So this card invites me to spend more time in defining in plain terms what it is I want in life. I have to set myself some smart goals. So smart means specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time bound. So there is a time limit on it. So I can be clear on what I am working forward. Towards, sorry. I have to focus on the basic and do some better planning. I have to get clear on my aspiration and goals. Uh, it can also suggest a clouded judgment or lack of mental clarity around a specific situation. I might be missing relevant, relevant information or evidence that will help me decide. So I have to invest time and energy into seeking out the truth rather than just taking things at face value. Okay. That's not bad. It makes sense with what's going on with my life. So that's always goes when it makes sense. And I wanted to show you something too. I have these cards. So cats against anxiety. There's a dog version for the dog people. And what I like a lot about those is uh, you can use them when you have too much anxiety and you cannot think of what to do. Like sometimes it gets cloudy. So you can take a, a, a card and it tells you a little quote, a little uh, words. And on the on the back side, you have some things you can do. For example, this one was smile today. You will find a way. And uh, it tells you immerse yourself for one minute. Focus on simple action. Train your brain to let everything else pass you by. Feel your anxiety melt away as you immerse yourself in your senses. So um, it makes sense. And for example, another one, don't give up. And it's uh, bath time. Enjoy the full experience of taking a warm bath today. Listen closely to the sound of the flowing water, how it feels on your body, the scent of the soap, the points of contact between your body and the tub. Let your mind relax and enjoy the moment. So it's to be conscientious about what's happening in the present like what you feel in the present and not worry about the past the future it's really fully conscious of the present there's a term in french for that but i don't know it in english so so i'm gonna date a little bit i'm gonna speak here uh, i think i'm gonna speak with my friend uh, Cami this morning. I'm not sure when she wake up. After that, I have to go to the um, medical store for my CPAP. 
there was a problem with it and we think it's because of the electricity we are having some problem because of the snow the electricity goes down and up all the time it and it might have fried the power supply of my CPAP so we will go and see if it's, uh, it uh, helps or not and after that yeah, I only have chores to do and stuff to knit so I'm gonna wish you a good day for now and I will see you soon bye bye